What's up YouTube, it's Robo13. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get iOS 6 onto your device. This could be on the iPad 3, on the iPad 2, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, or the iPod Touch 4th generation. Uh, and you guys can get all of this without a developer account. This is 100% free and this is beta 1 of iOS 6. Okay, the very first thing you guys want to do is download iOS 6 for your specific device. I'll have links in the description so you guys can do that. I already have my iPhone 4 right here. Uh, this is just, it says iPhone 3, but that's just the code name for it. It's uh, This is the iPhone 4 for the 6.0 firmware, and here's the iPad 3 for the 6.0 firmware. I'm going to be using this one for the iPad 3. I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do to get your device to recognize it and to activate it without a developer account. This is 100% free as well, so you guys won't have to worry about it, and it will work on your device. This is for beta 1, by the way. This might not work for the later versions of the beta, but for beta 1, this will work for right now. You also need to download the newest version of iTunes. This thing is 10.6.3. That will let you actually use iOS 6 for your device. So I'll have all the links in the description for you guys to download that stuff, and you'll be ready to go right after this. So after you downloaded the iOS 6 beta, you then need to make sure you back up your device for one. Back it up so you guys can uh, put it all back on once you get to iOS 6. But first, back up your device. Uh, but make sure you guys do all that first, so don't be blaming me for all that stuff. But after you do that, then you need to restore your device to 5.1.1 firmware. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I have the iPad right here. Uh, it is fully restored to 5.1.1. I had videos before when I was on iOS 6, but this is fully restored. So I'm going to go through the setup process. Then you can go up the set through the setup process on your iPad. So I'm going to do that really, really quick. Okay, and then once you get to here, the setup is new iPad. You do want to set up as a new iPad. Don't worry, once you get to iOS 6, you can still put all your stuff back on. Um, but once you get here, you do want to do set up as new iPad. Hit next. And then you don't even have to sign up with your Apple ID. You can just hit skip this step if you want to. And then once you get to the next step, hit agree. And then you can choose to use whatever you want. Okay, and then once you get to here, you can just hit start using iPad. So now you're on a clean uh, install of 5.1.1. Then you have to then plug into iTunes like I have right now. Plug it into iTunes. Once you do that, bring up iTunes. And then you can uncheck these if you want and just say whatever it is. Hit done. And now it'll just sync and everything. You can exit out of that. You don't even need to do that. But once you get everything through, you have to be on the home screen. You then get to here. Once you get into here, you want to stop any of the syncing if it's going on. You want to stop all that. If you're on a Mac, you want to hold an option. And if you're on a PC, you want to hold in shift. But you're going to click on the check for update, not restore. You want an option or shift click check for update. And then you're going to search for the uh, 6.0 firmware that you downloaded earlier. So I'm going to find that. It's on my desktop. Here's my iPad 3. Hit open. And you'll see iTunes will update your iPad to uh, iOS 6.0 and verify the update with Apple. Hit uh, update. Now I'll be extracting the software. And since you did check for update, it will, I guess, trick the iPad into thinking it's already uh, updated to that and that it'll update it straight into iOS uh, 6. And you do not need a developer account. So once this is fully done, uh, I'll show you guys what's it right after this. Okay, and it looks like my iPad is fully done now. It'll bring you back to this kind of a screen. Now if you go through it, you should notice that you're already done using the entire um, setup process. Now you can just use Siri, or this is for the iPad by the way, and then you just hit start using iPad. You don't even have to go through and set up anything because you already had it uh, pre-registered, I guess, with iOS 5.1.1. So again, with the steps really quick is you want to restore this to 5.1.1, go through the whole thing, set up as a new device, brand new device, then go into iTunes and you want to uh, shift click or option click on check for update. Do not click on restore. Do not shift click on restore. Do not option click on restore. You want to shift or option click on uh, check for updates. Then you're going to need to find the 10 point. Then you need to find the 6.0 firmware that you downloaded before. And then you'll just re uh, update it to that. And you have to also make sure that you're on 10.6.3 uh, iTunes. And I'll have all the links again in the description. So I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button down below. I believe I'm one of the first people to show a video of this on YouTube. So please hit that like button so more and more people can see it. Uh, this is a great way to do it. Again, this will only work for uh, the beta right now. The, the it's I think it's just beta 1 right now. Um, but there it might not work for the betas in the future. So if it, if it doesn't work for those, I'm sorry. I'll try to find more ways to get that to work. But currently, this is working for the beta 1. So go ahead, have fun with this. Again, this will only work on the iPad 3, the iPad 2, the iPhone 4, and the iPhone 4S, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So please have fun with that. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.